Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? Eva Ryan 94 bringing another action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War. This is the Toys R Us exclusive 3 pack that includes Thor, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. Right now I don't see any listings for this three pack online anywhere but i'm sure it will be up eventually seems like big bad toys has been getting all the exclusives they do have the ant-man two pack and the hydra two pack up also the scarlet witch envision two pack so it's only a matter of time that they will get this three pack as well so once that does go live i will put that link down in the description below so make sure you check that out now here we see all three figures displayed on the front of the package or standard marvel legends packaging we see some weapons here on one side we get thor on the other side we do get the teenage Groot and rocket raccoon on the back we have a pretty cool promo picture of the three figures displayed and there is a read-up that reads when a blaster toting raccoon a teenage tree and an asgardian god get together the journey is sure to be out of this world all right so that's it for the box let's go ahead and crack it open and see what these figures are all about This is going to be the very first time that we will see Thor unite with the Guardians of the Galaxy, or at least two of the Guardians of the Galaxy, but it seems like from the trailer that he does meet all of them, and uh, it seems like he goes on a little mission with uh, Groot and Rocket here to retrieve what is a new hammer, or he's going to forge a new hammer, although this figure does not come with the new hammer, it seems like. I believe there are a couple of other figures out there. I'm not sure if it's the Hot Toys one or something else where he actually has the new hammer. Or it seems like an axe. I don't know what it is quite sure. But this one comes with a sword. Looking at the accessories, uh, since we're talking about them, this is uh, Thor's sword. Of course, it's a very big. I'm not sure how long he uses it in the movie. Uh, but it seems like not for long because he does get that new weapon uh, made or so it seems we also do get a blaster rifle it seems like this would be a uh, fit for rocket even though rocket's so small he always uses big guns uh, but this is something that's different i don't remember seeing it i'm not quite sure at least they did paint some of it but they left the rest of it just gray um, they could have just kept painting uh, but they just decide not to. Uh, and then when we get to the pistols, there's also no paint on these. We've seen these before on the previous Rocket Raccoon uh, that we got from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 wave of figures. Uh, these are the same weapons, just less paint, unfortunately. And then we do get what seems to be, uh, I, I want to say it's like a video game device, a portable game device tablet that Groot uses to play. That's what it seems like to me. Uh, all we see is uh, just random you know, dots of color on there. But it seems like he is playing it like it's a video game. So, Alright, we will start it off with Thor. And this is the first time we get Thor in action figure form uh, sporting the eye patch. Uh, I guess if you haven't seen Ragnarok yet, then this is a bit of a spoiler. Uh, but they have already shown it in the trailer, so... I mean, everyone should have seen the movie by now, but he does lose his eye during the battle with Hela at the end of the movie. And here we do get a, a new sculpt for Thor. He's got no sleeves, so this isn't the first time we get no sleeves. I think we did get it with the Amazon exclusive four pack of the Avengers Age of Ultron. I believe that's what the four pack was. And uh, this is the second time we get him without sleeves. And here we can see his new face sculpt. We do get some lightning painted on the side of his face there coming out his eyes and we do get the lightning painted on his chest. Overall the uh, the outfit's all black this time around so it, it, it looks okay. Um, it seems like they try to go for the uh, the new face printing on here and I do think it has the likeness of uh, Chris Hemsworth there. I can see it. I can see the face there. Uh, the hair came out very nice. I like the way they sculpted that paint pretty good, too The head's on a bar jointed hinge, so it does go left and right It goes up about this much and then it goes down this much uh, Arms do go forward and back they go 
in and out. This one's a little stiff, but there it goes. Let's see if this one, or both a little stiff, goes in. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. There is a diaphragm joint that swivels, it goes forward and back. There is no waist swivel. T jointed legs go forward and back, they go in and out. There are thigh swivels, double jointed knees. We do get an ankle hinge and there's an ankle rocker, ankle pivot. All right, so changing gears to Rocket Raccoon here. We have seen this one before. This is nothing new. It's the exact same figure that we got with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, single pack figure. Nothing is added on, nothing sculpted on at all. Uh, we only get one face this time around. As you remember, we did get two faces or two heads, swappable heads on the single release one for the movie. And this one's just one. Seems like they changed the colors just a little bit on his outfit. We will compare the two in just a second. Uh, but overall, it's the same figure. Not really a must-have in the three-pack. Nothing really new here. Getting a little closer, you can see uh, they did still do a good job with the face sculpt. That looks pretty good to me. And then overall, the uh, the body, the outfit came out good. They painted it good. That's a good thing. Uh, the paint looks good here. Overall, everything's pretty clean as far as I can see. Uh, we're going to see the same articulation. Of course, it's the same figure, so the head goes left and right on a swivel. doesn't really go up and down, so that sucks. It still should pop off. Yep, it's just a ball joint without a hinge there. Uh, the arms do go forward and back. They do go in and out. There is no bicep swivel. There is a single joint to the elbow. It does swivel at the elbow. Only a swivel at the wrist without a hinge there. We do have a little diaphragm joint that swivels and it goes forward and back slightly. Legs go forward and back. They go in and out pretty decent, so that's not too bad. There are thigh swivels. We do have a single jointed knee here that will swivel at the knee as well. And we do have a swivel at the ankle, but that is it. There's no pivot or hinge at the ankle. We also have a tail that is articulated. It's on a hinge there, and it does rotate 360 degrees uh, before it pops out. But it should pop right back in. It's just a little peg. Alright, moving on to the final figure of the three pack. This will be the first time we'll see a uh, teenage Groot in a movie. We did see him in one of the after credit scenes, I believe in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, that was uh, right after the movie, so we didn't really get to see much there. But we'll get to see him in action in this one and see uh, how he is. Here we can see that Hasbro did add some, uh, some green paint to him. At least he uh, added some detail onto the body of the figure it's not just all brown i wish they could have added just a little bit more right now we're seeing a lot because they uh decided to add it on the head and the uh the upper torso here more so than anywhere else on the figure you can see the top of the head we do have a little bit of a, a branch growing out his head which is pretty nice and then the back we can just see it gets a little bit plain the sculpt is there though they did a good job sculpting it there's a little bit of green on his leg, and then that's about it. Other than that, uh, there's no more green anywhere else. There's some under his armpit. But, you know, if they would have sprayed it, or at least uh, shaded the figure, it would have came out, you know, a little better. All right, so there's the face sculpt. Looks like a a face of a teenager, so <laughs> not, not bad. Uh, the head does swivel left and right. Uh, it does go up. Uh, as so does it have a hinge. It does not... Oh, it actually, it does have a hinge. It was very hard to tell, but it's got a little bit of a, a hinge, so it's a ball jointed hinge. Uh, the head will go down a lot, so that's pretty good. The arms do go forward and back. They go in and out. No bicep swivel. We have a single jointed elbow with a swivel at the elbow. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Diaphragm joint swivels and goes forward and back. Uh, the legs are T-jointed. Uh, one of these legs, I believe was the right leg right here, did pop off on me right there. This one seems to pop off very easy. They're on ball joints here or ball pegs and this one just keeps coming off when I go forward so that kind of sucks I did it to this one and it's staying so I, I don't know what's causing the other one to, to pop off so easily uh, so maybe it's just my particular figure but I don't, I, I don't know so it does go forward and back there is no thigh swivel it, since it is on that ball joint it kind of swivels a little bit the whole leg but it's not not, not too much uh, so no thigh swivel there is a single joint to the knee with a swivel at the knee right there. And there it goes again. That's yeah, annoying. And then going down to the ankles, we do have a hinge at the ankle that hinges just slightly, not so much. And then we should have a pivot. There it is. So there is an ankle pivot. 
All right, so getting him next to the Thor Ragnarok, uh, regular Thor without the helmet. This is the Thor that came in the two pack with Valkyrie. And you can see the height is consistent there, so they uh, did good on that part. Overall, the two figures, of course, are sharing two different scopes, but you can see that they went with a ab crunch on this one and they went with a diaphragm joint on the new one. I did say the last sleeveless Thor was the four pack Amazon, but I guess this counts as a sleeveless Thor too. I just didn't think of it. I don't know why, but all right. So again, I'm closer together here. You can see uh, their face sculpts a little bit better. Um, I was never a big fan of the face sculpt on, on this one here. I, I don't know something about it just seems off. And then the, the eye is white on this one. I don't know if I mentioned because of the lightning effect so it looks awkward it looks like he's rolling his eyes back or his eye back and it just looks kind of weird uh, but it's meant to be completely white is to give the effect that he's hot you know he's going he's got the lightning going through his body right now but they did improve the hair on the new one so that's worth mentioning you can see there uh, they did add uh, different tones on this one but I, I, I like the shading on this one a lot better uh, so but you can see it's pretty much the same hairstyle on both figures and he seems to have a bit of a thicker beard on the Ragnarok version compared to the uh, the new Infinity War version. Now this lightning effect did come with the Thor Ragnarok one I just showed you from the two pack of Valkyrie. Uh, it, I guess it would have made sense for him to have this as well with this pack as he's going through the lightning uh, effect phase here. Maybe they could have just made it white and it would combine with the figure, but they could have just reused this little mold and uh and given us a lightning effect or lightning effects as in plural. Alright, so it's Rocket's turn. Here we have him next to the uh regular release of Rocket from the volume two wave. And as I said before, it's the same exact figure. But I really feel like they took a step back on this new one because it's got less detail, you know, overall, including the weapons you can see they're both holding the same weapons here and then they did give us uh, some wash on those weapons and that just makes it look that much better than just a regular gray piece of plastic and we also do have uh, some more detail on these shoulders here for the uh, the regular release and there isn't that detail over at the three pack version of him very subtle but both arms do have it and they uh, they just look better that way now both uh, of course are the same figure so they're both using or I like to use the tail uh, to get them to stand. I believe that's the only way you can get them to stand properly. Uh, and then this one did come with two faces including the one that's on here. But uh, I have the open mouth face right now which I do like better. Uh, but they didn't give us that option over at the new three pack one. But if you guys were curious yes it's the same exact rocket figure. Now, all right, and here we have an army of Groots. Uh, we have them next to the two uh, regular size adult Groots that we have gotten from Hasbro. Exact same uh, buck on both of them. The sac both have the same mold, but very different paint scheme on both. Uh, this is the Build-A-Figure version, and then this is the regular release, which was the Toys R Us exclusive. And by far the superior one compared to this one and although it's not the same figure it's still grew and they could have still implemented the same uh, effects that they did with this one and again taking a step back here there is less detail on this grew it's got the same great sculpt they did get that down correct just the same as these two uh, the same uh, sculpt work you can tell but the paint just isn't there as you can see over here uh, they didn't have so much green moss growing on this version but when they went to remake it they did add some more and it just overall made the figure look a lot better in my opinion and on top of that they did shade the figure very nicely on this one and that's what i wish they did here it makes makes it look more realistic to me looks more like a tree more like it's wood to me so if they would have implemented that onto the teenage group uh, it made it look like this right here it just would have been so much better they could have done it and i just i i can't see why not and on top of that i think it's just lacking some articulation as well and here's just a little bit of a closer look at what i'm talking about in terms of the shading and the paint on the toys r us exclusive uh, full grown Groot. What's nice is that we do have what seems to be the same eyes on both so that's cool I like that they kept that 
uh, the same there. And his head is shaping up to be exactly the same shape as the full-grown Groot so far. It's uh, looking to be the same. So once he's fully grown, will he look exactly the same? I'm not sure. Uh, but he should, right? And that concludes my review on the Toys R Us Avengers Infinity War Thor Teenage Groot and Rocket Raccoon 3-pack. You guys know the drill. Drop a like down below. Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I always like reading comments. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share the video, guys. Till next time, guys.